Timeline Series Volume 1, Before the Ages of Men, by Encantar of Shimmerin. Before man came to rule Tamriel, and before the chronicles of the historian recorded, the affair of the rulers of Tamriel, the events of our world, are known only through myths and legends, and through the divinely inspired teaching of the nine divines. For convenience, historians divide the two ages of prehistoric into two broad periods of time, the Down area and the Meritic area. The Down area. The Down area is that period before the beginning of mortal time, when the feats of the gods take place. The Down area ends with the exodus of the gods and magic from the world at the founding of the Adamantine Tower. The term Meritic comes from the Nordic, literally, era of the elves. The Meritic era is the prehistoric time after the exodus of the gods and magic from the world at the founding of the Adamantine Tower and before the arrival of Iskramor the North in Tamriel. The following are the most notable events of the Down area, presented roughly in sequence as it must be understood by creatures of time such as ourselves. The cosmos formed from the Orbis chaos of totality by Anu and Padome. Akatosh, Oriel, formed and time began. The gods, Eda, formed. Lorcan convinced or tricked the gods into creating the mortal plane, Neon. The mortal plane was, at this point, highly magical and dangerous. As the gods walked, the physical makeup of the mortal plane and even the timeless continuity of existence itself became unstable. When Magic, Magnus, architect of the plans for the mortal world, decided to terminate the project, the gods convened at the Adamantine Tower, Dereni Tower, the oldest known structure in Tamriel, and decided what to do. Most left when magic did. Others sacrificed themselves into other forms so that they might stay. They had no fear. Lorcan was condemned by the gods to exile in the mortal realms, and his heart was torn out and cast from the tower. Where it landed, a volcano formed. With magic in the mythic sense gone, the cosmos stabilized. Elven history finally linear began. Meritic area, 2500. The Meritic area. The Meritic area was figured by early note scholars as a series of years numbered in reverence order backward from their beginning of time, the founding of the Cameron dynasty, recorded as year zero of the first area. The prehistoric event of the Meritic area are listed here with their traditional Nordic Meritic dates. The earliest Meritic date cited by King Harold scholars was Meritic area 2500, the Nordic reckoning of the first year of time. As such, the Meritic area extends from Meritic area 2500 in the distant past to Meritic area 1, the year before the founding of the Cameron dynasty and the establishment of the White Gold Tower as an independent city-state. According to King Earl's Bart, Meritic Area 2500 was the date of construction of the Adamantic Tower of Balfiera Island in High Rock, the oldest known structure of Chamriel. This corresponds roughly to the earliest historical dates given in various unpublished Elvish chronicles. During the early Meritic area, the Aboriginal beast people of Tamriel, the ancestors of the Kajit, Argonian, Orkish, and other beast folk, lived in preliterate communities throughout Tamriel. In the Middle Meritic area, the Aldamiri, mortal of elf origin, refugees left their doom and now lost continent of Aldamiris, also known as Old Elfnofe, 
and settled in southwestern Tamoyel. The first colonies were distributed at wide intervals of islands along the entire coast of Tamoyel. Later, inland settlements were found primarily in fertile lowlands in southwest and central Tamoyel. Wherever the beast folk encountered the health, the sophisticated, literate, technologically advanced Aldamiri culture displaced the primitive beast folk into the jungles, marshes, mountains, and wastelands. The Adamantine Tower was rediscovered and captured by the Dirini, by the Dirini, a prominent and powerful Aldamiri clan. The Crystal Tower was built on Somerset Island and, later, White Gold Tower in Sirotil. During the Middle Meretic area, Aldemiri explorers mapped the coast of Vadenfell, building the first area high health wizard towers at Ald Redenia, Balfell, Tel Arun, and Tel Mora in Morin. It was also during this period that Aled Wild Health settlement flourished in the jungles surrounding White Gold Tower, present day Sirodi. White Elves, also known as the Heartland High Elves, preserved the down area magic and language of the El Nofe. Ostensibly a tribute land to the High King of Alinor, the Heartland long lines of communication from the Somerset Island sovereignty effectively isolated Sirodil from the High Kings of Crystal Tower. The late Middle Meritic area is the period of the High Veloti culture. The Shima, ancestors of the modern Dhamma, or Dark Elves, were dynamic, ambitious, long-lived elf clan devoted to fundamentalist ancestor worship. The Shima clans followed the prophet Velot out of the ancestral elf homelands in the southwest to settle in the lands now known as Morin. Despising the secular culture and profound practice of the Dwemer, the Shimmer also coveted the lands and resources of the Dwemer and for centuries provoked them with minor raids and territorial disputes. The Dwemer, dwarves, free thinking, reclusive heaven clans devoted to the secrets of science, engineering, and alchemy establish underground cities and communities in the mountain range, later the Veloti Mountain, separating modern Skyrim and Morrowind. The late Meritic area marks the precipitous decline of Veloti culture. Some Veloti settled in villages near declining and abandoned ancient Veloti towers. During this period, Veloti high culture disappeared on Vertenfell Island. The earliest Dwemer freehold colonies date from this period. Degenerate Veloti devolved into tribal culture, which in time evolved into the modern great houses of Morid, or persisted as the barbarian Ashlander tribes. The only surviving traces of this tribal culture are scattered Veloti towers and Ashlander nomads on Vadenfell Island. The original first area high heaven wizard towers along the coast of Tamuyel were also abandoned about this time. It was in the late Meritic area that the preliterate humans, the so-called Nedic people from the continent of Atmora, also Altmora, or the Elder Woods in Almiris, migrated and settled in northern Tamuyel. The North culture hero is Gamor, leader of a great colonizing fleet to Tamoyel, is credited with developing a runic transcription of North speech based on Elvish principle, and so Isgamor is considered the first human historian. Isgamor's fleet landed at Xarid Head at the extreme northern tip of Skyrim's broken cap. The North built there the legendary city of Sartal. The elves drove the men away during the Night of Tears, but his grammar soon returned with his 500 companions. Also, during the late Meritic area, 
the legendary immortal hero, warrior, sorcerer, and king, variously known as Pelinal White Strike, Harald Harry Briggs, Izmir, Hans the Fox, etc., wandered Tamriel, gathering armies, conquering lands, ruling, then abandoning his kingdoms to wander again. Have you considered redecorating? <coughs> Don't look at me like that, it was just a suggestion. 